So here we are, Fanatec have revealed what's going on sale for Black Friday week and when it's going on sale. Let me run through it and if you appreciate this video, using the affiliate link in the description to travel to Fanatec's Black Friday landing page is the best way to support me in turn and thank you for doing so. So here's the list of things that will be on sale this year and the holding page at blackfriday.fanatec.com should be changing soon if it hasn't already by the time you watch this. I'll keep this info on screen so you can read and listen. Offers are subject to change and there may be some details on Fanatec's page that don't appear here and vice versa, so allow for some wiggle room on the info here. So it looks like Fanatec are doing the same thing they did last year. They're putting stuff on sale in stages, which personally is an approach I hated last year. People doubled up on shipping unnecessarily because of FOMO. Understandably, they didn't want to wait to see what the rest of the week brought in case something they wanted now sold out and it separated orders. I interpret this to mean the same thing is going to happen again this year. For customers, it means that if you buy something on the first day of sales and then something else on the fifth day of sales, that's two lots of shipping to pay for, two separate parcels, two lots of hassle and double the admin on Fanatec's side. I don't like this approach, but that's what it seems they're doing. Knowing in advance what's going up for sale this time helps customers be more informed and definitely comes across as less hostile to the feelings of customers, but it won't cure the problem with multiple orders if you do want multiple things. It's also worth noting that during my research and verification of current prices for some of these items, the website did actually go down a couple of times. I doubt that's due to planned maintenance and sales haven't even started. This is just for pre-game, so the website could drop in and out as it always does during Black Friday week. Each item that goes on sale will be doing so for a limited quantity, but it's not yet indicated how many, could be a lot or could be not, and each order is limited to two of each item to try and limit scalping. After the limited sale quantity is brought up, or after the sale ends at the end of Monday the 2nd of December, all items will revert back to their usual price. So the first day of sales will begin on November 26. On day one, three items will be on sale. The Club Sport Handbrake V1.5 will be on sale for a touch under 70 USD or Euros. It's currently actually on sale for 100 USD Euros, so this is just a deeper discount on top of what's already there. There's a new handbrake coming out, so they're probably wanting to get rid of all the current stock. It isn't an excellent product, but this is an excellent price if you just need to fill the role. The CSL DD QR2 Ready to Race WRC bundle is reduced to 480 USD or 460 euros. It's actually already on discount at 500 USD or euros and has been for a while, so unless I've misidentified the wrong item, it's not a massive discount, but a lot of people, including me, wouldn't have expected to have any discount on the Ready to Race bundles anyway, so it's a welcome thing, albeit small. The Boost Kit is also on sale at 100 USD or Euros. You used to be able to obtain the Boost Kit for 100 Euros if you bundled it with a wheelbase, but that doesn't seem to be the case anymore, so this may be the only opportunity to get a Boost Kit for a discount for a while. One to take note of if you have a 5Nm unboosted CSL DD or GT DD Pro. On day 2, November 27th, the Club Sport Static Shifter Paddles reduces from 60 to 45. Club Sport Wheel Rim GT Forza Motorsport reduces from 130 to 60. Club Sport Wheel Rim Classic 2 reduces from 130 to 100. And the Club Sport Wheel Rim Flat 2 reduces from 130 to 80. I'm just going to say it. Not exactly head turning, despite the heavy discounts, but just a bit of an oddball selection. These are the kind of items you'd find bundled together on a pallet in a warehouse job lot. On day 3, November 28th, here we go, it's Old Faithful, the Club Sport V3 inverted pedals, reduced from 600 to 350. It's a big discount, but that's more reflective of the fact that the standard price is just quite a lot. 350 should really be the going rate for inverted V3s in this day and age. On day 4, November 29th, it's the Gran Turismo DD Pro wheelbase plus QR2 base side type C. This normally costs 670 with the combo but is reduced to 500, so that's a fair chop if you just want the wheelbase and QR2 only. On day 5, November 30th, it's a product release, not a discount, so the Club Sport Steering Wheel Formula Red Bull 2024 is out, but the price tag is 650 USD or Euro. 
It's a limited edition with 2,024 units available, but that price is quite a lot for this formula model compared to previous years. It's not yet clear at time of recording what the exact spec will be, but I'm sure there'll be a justification behind it besides just being an official Red Bull partnered product. Maybe each one will have been briefly, lovingly held by Max Verstappen with a certificate of authenticity to prove it. Day 6, December 1st, the Clusport Shifter V1.5 reduces to 200 and the Carbon Knobs Kit reduces from 80 to 60. Many people love the Shifter, it is pretty good. The final day, day 7, December 2nd. A new product again is being launched and that's the Clubsport Handbrake V2 for 200 USD or Euros. It's a little bit expensive for a handbrake, but it does at least appear to be a distinctly improved unit compared to the V1.5 handbrake they're trying to get rid of on the day one sale. However, a podium steering wheel Monte Carlo plus Club Sport handbrake V2 bundle is also being offered up for 800 USD or Euros. If you buy these two things separately, it would cost you 900, so it is a proper discount. At the end of December 2nd, the sales will all end and the prices will return to normal. Now one theme I've noticed whilst verifying these prices is that the percentage of savings in the up to column is put up against normal retail price. So it doesn't take into account if anything's on a less significant sale already or bundle pricing. So whilst many discounts are still legitimately big, they're not as big as the data suggests in some cases. At least it appears that way to me browsing the site. So what do you think? Overall, to me, it seems like a less ambitious and less broadly attractive sale than 2023 was because this time, whilst there's still decent discounts on specific items that might appeal to specific people, there's no deep discounts on some of the more universally desired stuff like the standard formula wheel or standard pedals like the Elite V2s. Even the QR2 components remain full price individually, which does surprise me. Having said that, given how 2023 went, perhaps it's for the best that this year they just pump the brakes a bit and hold their cards a bit closer to the chest. Either way, I hope this was informative. If it was, then don't forget, you can support me and the channel by using the affiliate link in the description below to travel to Fanatec. It lets them know you came from me, and I appreciate that very much. Cheers again.